guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm really excited to be reviewing the Ahuhu brush markers. Before we continue I just want to remind you to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Now we can get into the actual review. Now the markers come in this really nice handy case, great for travelling and let's open it up and look at the amazing markers. Okay, so this set also comes with a colour swatch sheet, but I do recommend you do your own, as your own would be more accurate, but this one shows all the colours and all its colour names, which is really helpful. I can show you mine, so here's my colour swatch sheet, I did it with the markers, and if you can see there's a lot of greens in the set, and also there's this that is included in the set, it's a FAQs card which is really helpful and now let's look at the amazing markers so the markers are quite round which usually means that the markers will roll off your desk but if you can see these markers have like little things on the lids to stop it from rolling so let's test that out yep it works and these markers have a chisel nib on one end tip on the other. Now let's see if these markers reach my expectations. I'm just going to compare these markers to the industry standard Copic Sketch markers. So the Copic Sketch markers are more on the expensive side, retailing for about £5 a marker. Ahuhu markers don't sell spare nibs, but you can take the brush tip out and turn it around and it will be like a new brush tip. I've heard that Ahuhu markers are refillable with the Touch New refills so when one of my markers run out I'll definitely test that out in a video so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified for when that video comes out. Now let's see which marker is best at blending. So I've picked out three Ahuhu markers which are similar to my three Copic markers and now we're going to begin blending. And I think the winner has to be the Copic markers. The blending is just a bit better and was a bit easier to blend. Now we can finally start using all 72 Ahuhu markers in an illustration. Here's my illustration. I've got my Ahuhu markers here. And once I've used it, I'm going to put it on this side of the table. So let's begin colouring.
Okay, so I've finished my illustration finally and I've added some white highlights and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Let me be honest with you guys, if I didn't draw these shopping bags I wouldn't be able to pass this challenge. And if you can see I've got a mountain of markers on my desk. So that's the end of the video, thanks for viewing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!